Uh, that was kind of an expedition as well. Garrett McNamara and Kaylee Mamala had heard about this at ASR from a director's son who had filmed the glaciers calving 10 years ago or some long time ago. And the son had grown up in the surfing world down in San Diego and saw the footage of these waves, you know, this ice calving and then these waves creating perfect barrels ripping down a river. He didn't know any surfers, so he went to ASR. I think he met Garrett there. And Garrett said the same thing, basically, like, look, put, put this away. Put this in the vault. Let's go and scope this out and check it out. So then they went up there, a whole team, to shoot this and document it. And uh, he kept calling me, saying, you got to come, you got to come. There's no photographers. And I was pretty busy shooting some of the time. And the last minute, I pulled the trigger. They'd already been there two weeks. I flew up there four flights later, got there. None of my equipment showed up, just like my carry-on. And I uh, met Kaylee at the airport. He took me to the glacier. It was like uh, 7.45 in the evening. I stood there on the river's edge because I didn't have my water housing. I had nothing to shoot from the jet ski. And the first one starts breaking and this giant thing falls. And I just started shooting, shooting, shooting sequences. And uh, sure enough, that was the one that created like a 20 foot wall of white water, which turned into like a churning little barrel. And then they just happened to be right in front of it, you know, almost, almost in the impact zone of getting killed with debris, but just out enough that it, they got to start the jet skis. Garrett whipped Kaylee into it and he surfed it all the way down the river. And I basically could have packed my bags and gone home. I was there for like 10 minutes.